Them is some turkeys, people. Check them out. Turkey running. Leave me alone. Well, we got a new message this week. Those who see the invisible can do the impossible. Now, I'm down with that. <laughs> because in this three-dimensional reality we call this world is, by all practical purposes, is invisible to the reality of the consciousness of who we are. Now, I may have lost a lot of Christians right then, but that's okay because when you visualize and believe it and speak it with your mouth in Scripture, it will come to pass, but you've got to put effort. That's like that bicycle right there. It's not going to ride itself 48 miles in, in one setting without you pedaling and agreeing to pedal hard. And it will wear you out. But I can tell you this, I see the invisible rim of what the benefits are of exercising and living right because I've changed my life, my body, my mind, everything that uh, has to do with me believing that I am becoming younger and younger, healthier and healthier, has happened. And I speak that I'm abundant and I have abundance in coming into my life 15 ways. I'm blessed and have much favor. I say all of that to say this. Then you come around on this side and it says, the Ten Commandments are not multiple choice. Well, is he trying to tell a good message? Or is he trying to pick pick at his people? Because we all know. Hey! Huh? I'm just filming that good old message right there, putting it on YouTube. The Ten Commandments are not multiple choice. Did you put that there? Yeah? You go to this church? Oh, you just checking to see if I'm okay, ain't you? No, I'm good. Now see, he had a choice. He could have kept driving and not to ask, did I need help? Now that's not in the Ten Commandments, but that should be the best of them all. Because if you've done it to one, you've done it to all. By him stopping and helping and asking me, was I in some kind of desire, you know, straits, dire straits, I, you know, had a flat or something, whatever it was, like having a heart attack. Who knows? He seen me out here staggering around a little bit. He, 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 he probably figured I might have got exhausted or something because he didn't even know what this was I was holding in my hand, a camera. Oh, but the point is, by him doing that choice, he benefited himself in the invisible realm of what life and reality is. Now, these commandments... Is really good, but that ain't what is that ain't what living is about. Is trying to live up to Ten Commandments. You either gonna live up to the reality 
that you're going to be a good person or are you going to be a bad person? And that's the ultimate choice in our thinking. Are we going to hold the thought of love for everything and everyone? Well, you can't do that unless you know who you really are and you know what you are. You are the essence of love from the Father and the Mother. Father, Mother, God. I lost a lot of Christians on that because they can't see that. But that's okay. <sighs> oh, man. I got myself in something then when I said that. I might edit that out. I might not. Okay. I'm going to get on down the road. See y'all later. Those who see the invisible can do the impossible. For me, that speaks of, of everything I know about the law of attraction. Well, hey, everybody. Um, I know I was talking about Roseanne the other day, so I want to continue to, you know, plug a little bit about what, or just something came to my mind. And I'm going to go on and say it because um, Karen Siltwood, Kermagee Nuclear Power Plant. Uh, Daniel Sheehan was a lawyer on a case that had to do with exposing where the uranium was coming out of Kermagee and who was buying it and what was going on. And that's one reason uh, Karen Sitwood lost her life. So I'm not saying Roseanne was talking about that, but I'm just saying some of the things that she was alluding to is some of those things that make you question you know, what have we been told? Well, the uranium went to Israel to build their first atomic weapon and atomic bomb. And so last week, a couple weeks ago, I put up a, a collaboration video with, uh, I can't think of the name of the, of the guy right now, but in the video it talked about uh, the, the worst threat in the Middle East as far as nuclear bombs and attacks and uh, there was a picture of the cover that I used and it was, you know, alluding to Israel, which we all know Israel has more weapons. So that's why I brought up the Kermagee nuclear uh, theft at the Kermagee plant in Karen Siltwood and my friend, Daniel Sheehan. I've been knowing Daniel Sheehan since probably 2007. We've talked several times over the phone and he gave me some pretty good insight but it's in his books he's right he wrote books about it and uh, it's just not talk, ever talked about is how that went down and then we get into Iraq and Iran and depleted uranium that is a crime against humanity but I, it's too long of a story to go into but if you ever heard anybody mention that the battlefield uh, it's just covered with de depleted uranium. It's true. It's true. All right, I'm going to cut her off there. This is lap two, and I got to get all the way back. It's cloudy, overcast. Oh, that's my friend right there leaving off. Check his bike out. All right, he's outlaw bike biker guy that does the haircuts. Yeah, he's the one that has the uh, barbershop right over there. So if you're in uh, Rogersville or the surrounding area, if you're in Springfield, Ozark, and you want a good haircut done by people that really know how to do it, they give you the full beard shave and uh, give you the experience of a barbershop. This is the place to come to. You'll love it. Outlaw gentlemen. All right, I'm gonna get on down the road.